Shark Tank's most controversial decisions, deals that split the panel. Hey guys, today we'll be taking a look at the Shark Tank's most controversial decisions, deals that split the panel. Let's get right into it. There have been intense debates within the popular TV show Shark Tank on ABC. These debates often involve the sharks and the entrepreneurs who present their businesses, as the stakes can be high, with hundreds of thousands of dollars in investments at play. Occasionally, we witness the sharks engaging in arguments with the entrepreneurs that can result in a lack of respect. However, not all the conflicts on the show are between the presenting entrepreneurs and the sharks. In some instances, a shark may be so passionate about a product that they will clash with any other panelist who challenges their enthusiasm. Scully, Season 6, Episode 20 Christopher Gray was likely unprepared for what awaited him when he entered the tank. During Season 6, Episode 20, Gray pitched Scully, a paid app that helps prospective college students discover scholarships they may not have been aware of. Laurie and Damon partnered up to present an offer and ultimately sealed the deal with Gray. However, after Gray's departure from the tank, a massive dispute erupted amongst the entire panel of sharks. Mark, Kevin and Robert were displeased with their Shark Tank counterparts for what they perceived as a charitable deal with Scully. In an unusual move for the show, the three left the tank to distance themselves from Laurie and Damon. This decision was undoubtedly wise, as tensions were escalating rapidly between the sharks. Tour Season 8, Episode 8 Junior designer arrived in the Shark Tank with a pitch for Tour, the most intelligent lockbox in the world. Although he was one of the most prepared pitchers ever seen on Shark Tank, he could not have anticipated guest shark Chris Saka's reaction to it. Saka appeared uninterested in what Junior was offering from the outset. The investor was so convinced that the lockbox Junior presented was already covered by a patent that his irritation seemed to catch some of the other sharks off guard. After securing a deal with Barbara Corcoran and Kevin O'Leary, Junior exited the tank while Chris remained agitated. Mark intervened in the discussion and had a heated argument with Chris over the technology. The spat was filled with a series of eye rolls and the pair made jabs at each other's intelligence, escalating the confrontation to another level. Fortunately, Barbara, Laurie and Mr. Wonderful served as buffers, enabling them to move back and forth with less tension. Bright Wheel Season 7 Episode 26 when a creator reveals how much money they need to obtain and a shark responds with a massive sigh, it's never a good sign. Bright Wheel founder David Vazin was faced with this challenge when he pitched his prep school app that enables parents to monitor their children's progress. Damon was immediately put off by the costly $400,000 investment for a 4% stake. But guest shark Chris was interested and wanted in. To everyone's surprise, a heated argument erupted between Chris and Mark after the former suggested that the other sharks couldn't offer anything to the table for Brightwheel. Damon joined in the excitement, chanting shark fight as the two men became more agitated. Although most fights in the tank end with people storming off or making snide remarks, sometimes unexpected things happen and foes come together. In a surprising move, Mark and Chris agree to invest together in Brightwheel. When millions are at stake, there is no room for pettiness. Simple Habit Season 9 Episode 1 Sometimes the investors on Shark Tank argue, but it's usually not a big deal. They might be upset about losing a deal or disagree about a product. However, there was one time when a fight got a little out of hand. A guest judge, Sir Richard Branson, was on the show and at first, everyone seemed to get along. Then Mark insulted Yuna Kim, the founder of Simple Habit, by calling her a gold digger. Branson didn't like that and threw water on Mark. Mark threw water back and no one made a deal with Yuna's app. Cozy Bug Season 4 Episode 5 The tension was high in the tank when Ali Lesser came in to pitch Cozy Bug, her pillowcase dress business. What she didn't expect was to witness a showdown between two of the sharks, Laurie and Damon. Both of them wanted a piece of the company and claws came out as they fought tooth and nail for it. Laurie, who's usually sweet as pie, surprised everyone when she went after Damon, taking some serious jabs at his clothing brand, FUBU. She wanted Cozy Bug so badly that she didn't hold back, making it clear that Damon was no match for her when it came to moving merchandise. But Damon, a veteran of the garment world, knew he had what it takes to make Cozy Bug a success. Ali ultimately chose him as an investor and Laurie was visibly upset by the decision. It was a rare moment of conflict between the usually supportive and friendly sharks, but it goes to show just how fierce the competition can be on Shark Tank. Lulu Bang Season 8 Episode 6 Of course, we can't talk about Shark Tank fights without mentioning the notorious Kevin O'Leary, aka Mr. Wonderful. The sisters behind Lulu Bang barbecue sauce were lucky enough to miss out on the drama that unfolded after their pitch. The rest of the sharks couldn't stop singing the Beard Sisters' praises, but things got ugly when Mr. Wonderful accused his co-stars of not being truthful with the entrepreneurs. It was a full-on four-on-one brawl with O'Leary as the main target, 
but the truth police didn't seem to mind. As the fight escalated, insults were hurled, with Mark even resorting to name-calling. Finally, Mark had enough and made a swift exit, leaving O'Leary to continue his tirade about honesty. It's no secret that Mr. Wonderful can be a tough nut to crack, but it's always entertaining to watch the other sharks try to take him down a peg or two. That's all for today, and we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.